Hello, Alejandro. Thank you very much for Pleasure. your time. And you are leading um, a real big transformation on the motorsport. Can you tell us a little bit more what Formula E is? Well, Formula E, it's, uh, I would say, the future of motorsport. Formula E is an evolution. It's a different type of racing that has its main feature that it's, instead of combustion, electric. So it's basically using a different technology to do something that was being done before, but in a different way. So the origin of it is, you know, we are a group of people that were racing in the old way, if you like. We were in combustion. I had my team in GP2, which is today Formula 2. I was very involved in Formula 1. And more and more sponsors were starting to express concerns about the sustainability, about the environmental problems, about uh, climate change. And we thought, and I thought, we need to create a green version of motor racing. And that is Formula E. Formula E, it's a, a championship that helps develop electric car technology, that helps promote the image of electric cars, the perception of electric cars, that effectively has as an objective to have electric cars all around the world. One thing that is very important that we know from motorsport is that it's a very good platform for test new technologies. So how do you see Formula E as a test environment for, because we see a clear trend on automotive industry yeah, yeah. for electric. So how do you see that? Well, Formula E clearly, and the ABB Formula E Championship, the whole, the whole championship, it's a laboratory. It's a place where teams and now car manufacturers can test the technologies and the solutions that then they can implement on the road cars. And of course, to be a true laboratory, you need to have the right players in the laboratory. And now we do. When we started Formula E, most of the teams were private. Then Renault and Audi were the first to join, but then it was kind of an avalanche of OEMs. Mahindra was there from the beginning, but then we have, uh, of course, people like Jaguar came in, and then you know, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Nissan, um, Neo in China. I mean, you know, we, we have all these OEMs. They are the ones who will develop their solutions that then they will try to win with those technologies, the championship, and then they will use those solutions for the road cars. We said a lot about the teams and the competition, but about the public. So, because it's also a transformation on the public uh, behavior. For example, if you go to a Formula One and you watch, one of the key aspects is the noise of the engine, you know, and all that dynamic. So, how do you plan on what, which kind of actions are you taking to also transform the way people feel and follow Formula E. Definitely the fan base is a, a key of, of this whole game. And um, we focus on a younger demographic. We think that a younger demographic is more concerned about climate change, about the environment, about using clean technologies. And to catch the young demographic, we mm, make things that are very aggressive, very risky, very video game kind of like that wouldn't be possible in more traditional motorsport. For example, we have this thing called the attack mode, where a car, if they go out of the racing line, they can go over a special line. It's like when in Mario Kart, they go and they catch a star, and for four minutes they have extra horsepower, and they have extra energy to go and overtake the cars in front. So we, we bring together almost the race and the video game concept to capture uh, a younger demographic, and it's working. Also, we focus a lot on social media. We focus a lot on short form content, and all those things are now what people is using to enjoy entertainment. They like to watch it on their mobile device and they like to watch short, super cool, super quick um, action, uh, sports action. Uh, they don't really necessarily, sometimes they do of course, but watch an hour, an hour and a half of content in front of the TV. Yeah, you are a clear disruptor in the market. But what would you say for those who are incumbent, not only on the motorsport, but imagine a traditional motorsport or a traditional organization that is facing disruption everywhere. What would be your advice to these CEOs, to the C-level executives about how they should transform their business? Well, obviously, that's... that's uh very big question and I'm, I'm, I'm not the most qualified to really give advice to those big CEOs but for me I think the main message is there is no panic here there is not a situation of life or death there is simply a necessity of adapting the business 
and adapting the business model and finding a good business model for the next phase. And um, that's a challenge. Obviously, for the, for the car industry, it's a challenge to make money out of electric cars. They, the car industry has been making money out of combustion cars for a long time. The main added value was, of course, in the engine. Now, the electric motor has less added value. It's almost a commodity. So the business model is going to be based more on brand. It's going to be based more on the interior of the car. It's going to be based more on driverless technologies that you can implement in connectivity for the car. So there are many different areas which those car brands can focus on um, to find the business model. So that's what they're doing. Some of them with more success than others. It's a, a time of change in the car industry. Formula E is just the tip of the iceberg. We're, we're a symptom of what's going on. And the fact that Mercedes, Porsche, um, Jaguar, Nissan are all in Formula E, um, it's just a, a symptom of the change that has to happen in the industry. And if you can close your eyes and open your eyes five years from now, how do you see Formula E? I see Formula E as the future of motorsport. I see electric racing as the future of motorsport. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Obviously, Formula One is the biggest championship out there, the biggest brand, millions and millions of followers. We, of course, all uh, know that, and, and, and I'm a big fan of Formula One. So I don't know what kind of future we have uh, together, maybe Formula One, Formula E, or separate. I have no idea, but definitely I see Formula E growing and growing, becoming the, at the center stage of motorsport, being the sport linked to the industry. The industry is electric, and Formula E is the electric championship. So yeah, that's where I see it. And how do you see the future of the automotive industry? Do you see moving towards full electric? And well, the automotive industry, of course, is in a crossroads now. I think the automotive industry is going to continue, obviously. It may have to go through some changes, like I was saying, to find a new business model for electric cars. I think combustion cars still have a future. Combustion engines are going to go more and more and more efficient. So improving the efficiency of, of combustion it's definitely going to be part of the future of the uh, car industry. Another big part of the car industry is going to be electric. And definitely transportation needs to reduce drastically the uh, amount of emissions of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. So that is the main mission for the motor industry in the next decades.